Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games, and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we fought Jarvis, the ghost living inside of the Ceramic Studios. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and try our best to finish up the game. We're pretty close to the end. And now, as of recording this, I'm not sure if this is going to be the finale or if the next episode is going to be the finale. Either way, this week is the finale, so... I'm super excited. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that we want to do is, last time we got a key that led us down to the basement, so we're going to head on down there, and maybe we'll find that boo that I accidentally lost. Okay, so now we're over here inside of the basement, and we want to head up to this door in the top left corner. This is... I'm going to wait for the thing to appear. The pipe room. Ow. So just do what you normally do, just suck up all the ghosts in the room. We got these guys, the grabbers, who could be super annoying. I messed up catching both of those ghosts, I don't know how. It's been a little while since I last played the game, so I might be a bit rusty at it. That should be the last one? Hey! Now what we want to do is we want to take the ice from- oh! Buffont. I'll put up the name of the actual pun of that. And so, I accidentally made this boo come out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh god, the cycle is about to start. Gotta go through here, fight the boo, and then go back around, and then do everything again. Suck you up, flip upside down, walk all the way around... Flip back, right side up. Go through this door. And now I have to... Get the boo out of here. This is a perfect example in what I was talking about in a previous video. Where this section can be really annoying. Ah, come on. In here? No, in here? Yep. Come on. Come on. Okay, I was doing this strategy where I was sh like shimmying side to side, and I think that was actually doing something for me because the boo kept going through the wall and then coming back through the... what do you call it? The... I don't know why my bra brain was blanking there. It kept going through the wall and then coming back out again. And so now I'm gonna... Hug the wall to the right here so that the boo doesn't go in that wall. The boo is automatically designed to go against where you're going. Okay, no, wait, don't, don't go in there. Okay, just the last, okay, got the last bit of HP. That is boo number 47. And I think we're on track for all of the boo. I thought I was missing one, but hey, maybe I'll come across it at some point later on. Now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to freeze this weird green water. It'll turn into ice, which has really slippery physics. Then you want to turn this wheel. You just need to walk up to it, you don't need to press A. And that will lead to this waterfall stop stopping from falling, and we get the key to the next area. So while we're going through here, I thought I'd go ahead and share some trivia, because that's what I typically like to do throughout the, throughout a Let's Play, but I guess my brain has just been preoccupied throughout this entire thing, so I've just been forgetting to do that. So, fun fact, you know how for... I might have mentioned some of these in previous videos, but you know how... Actually, I did mention that, never mind. I was going to talk about the overheating function in the beta stuff. Um... One of the most famous pieces of trivia about this game is that there was like an old image of Luigi who like looked really creepy and it always freaked me out as a kid. Um, people thought it was a game over screen for a while, but then I think that was debunked. I think it was just like a trailer image. But yeah, you want to go ahead and set this ghost on fire because it's stuck in a bunch of ice. I think you have to set that wood on fire to the side. 
Hot, oh very hot. You, you're making it too hot. I'm going to cook in this heat. I'm going to melt. Did you light these fires? What were you thinking? People who start fires in this mansion had better be ready to pay the price. Now learn your lesson. So this guy is going to start by trying to impale us with icicles. Ow. So I think what we have to do is set him on fire. That'll free him. You want to suck him up in your vacuum. Ah. As you get farther in the game, the bosses get much harder, obviously. And so I might start having trouble with some of these later bosses. Especially this one because he's constantly squirming around and you've got the icicles that you've got to try hard to avoid. I'm definitely not getting a gold ranking on this one. Or a gold frame, I should say. This should be the last time I need to suck him up, though, unless I get something gets in the way. Nope, we got him. Nice. Originally, there was like a demo timer, like for when people were playing. <laughs> I like how Luigi just slides off screen when you get something on the ice. But originally for the demo, there's a timer. Because obviously it's a demo, you don't want people playing for too long. We got Boulder Dash. I forget if I've gotten you already. You know what? I did better on that than I expected. Now, I think there might actually be another boon here, or it could just be one of the fake things like a bomb or a boo ball. But yeah, I think people thought that that demo timer was supposed to be a thing where, like, you had a limited number of time to get through the mansion or something like that. There are a lot of, like, urban legends about this game, like, uh, like the shadow in the telephone room. You get just saying something about the plants. But yeah, like, the- whenever you- when the blackout first occurs, there's lightning striking. Um... Oh, this place is all cleared out. Never mind. When you first go to the telephone room during the blackout, you grab one of the telephone, and when the lightning strikes, the shadow looks like something that I'm not sure I can say on YouTube. But yeah, anyways, there's a lot of urban legends about this game that, uh, were just kind of not really true, but a lot of people assumed they were true just because, you know, the internet was new back in the early 2000s. One of my favorite things, I'm pretty sure this is true, but I believe in the New Mansion version of the European version of Luigi's Mansion, I believe during the Bulasis boss fight, which is hard to say, uh, Luigi would get on top of the poltergust and start writing it, which I think is hilarious. I'll try to show some footage on screen if I can. Let's see, where do we go next? Right here. I forgot this place existed. You know what? I think that this is the last boss ghost before King Boo, so you know what? We're making this episode the finale. This is... The Artist's Studio. It is you, no? You interfere with my afterlife's work. You filthy swine, you're blind to the life I give my creations. Then very well, I will show you the mastery of my art. So this painter guy, Vincent Van Gore, he is the creator of all of the non-portrait ghosts. He paints them and then they come to life. And so this is why I mentioned earlier that as we were getting closer to the end of the game, for some reason, a lot of the early game ghosts were popping up, and that's because they were coming from here. Well, this is- yeah, that was gonna end bad, because typically you're supposed to get all three at the same time. 
Now I'm not sure, I'll correct myself in editing, but I'm not sure if the sucking up of these ghosts has anything to do with Van Gore's like painting like frame color. Or if it's just Van Gore himself who has to do with that. Jesus, I am having some trouble on this one. Okay, there we go, and I shouldn't have any trouble with this last one. I almost got messed up there because my Poltergust, I think, went automatically towards the heart to suck it up. So that was very bad for me. No! Oh god, this is gonna end bad for me too. Okay, get rid of you. If you don't get all three at the same time, then this is a lot harder than it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's just as hard as it's supposed to be. Because, you know, it's the final, not final boss. I finally got a, like, multiple Shy Guys in one vacuum suckage. We get the Garbage Can Ghosts, like, second to last, which is weird because we didn't encounter him in that order. I believe the garbage can ghosts were like the third ones that we encountered after the you know the uh pink punchers and or the purple punchers or the puncher ghosts and the gold ghosts not in that order if there's any specific reason why the ghosts are in this order maybe it's just because it ramps up in difficulty or something like that Gosh, dang it. Before in the game when we'd only have like one garbage can ghost at a time, then they were sort of easy to deal with. But now that we have multiple going at once, it's they're quite annoying. Ah. And now we have to deal with um these ceiling ghosts for like the second time in the game before we just walk past these guys, but... Okay, now that we're done with those guys, now, my my creations! But even if they, I disappear, my work will live on. That he's right. Nessie path. Art is eternal. Huh? You say that only one of my creations is left? But this cannot be! Zatolo! Sorry if my French impression isn't that good. I just tried to do my normal voice. So the I don't know. I'm not very good at doing impressions of other accents. Like, not good at British. Ah. And, you know, you guys saw how bad I am at British accents in my Ace Attorney series. Come on, Luigi, get bigger. You can't use your vacuum while you're small. I was holding R that entire time and, you know, I wasn't able to do that. But yeah, now we're done with him. And so, now we have the next key, the club key. This will lead to the last boss fight in the game right there in the basement floor. And now we have to get the Boo in this room. And now I'm wondering, because King Boo, the main antagonist of this game, does not count as a Boo. So now I'm wondering where that last boo is. Oh, yeah. Boutique. That's chic. I guess that makes sense because they're, you know, the French boo is in the French ghost's place. Ah, come on. This is going to be super tedious, I can just tell. Thank God that is over.
Okay. I was going to go insane listening to the same couple notes from the beginning of the boo jingle. Like, each and every time. So now, I have to go around the entire mansion looking for this last boo. Because they, it got away from me somewhere. And I'm just unsure where. I'm gonna first start by checking the third floor. But I'm going to cut through this just so you guys don't have to... You know, watch me search the entire mansion room to room. And so I'll just cut back to when I've found the boo. You know what, maybe while I'm looking for this boo, I can tell you about all the trivia that I haven't mentioned yet. I think that'd be a better uh, way to spend our time. So, apparently there's an image of Daisy in the game for some reason. I don't know if she was originally going to be the one kidnapped instead of Mario, or there's something else in there, but it seems like there's an image of her in the game. It seems like it's the image from Mario Tennis 64, and so it's weird. I don't know why they'd put that in there, because it's not like a, like a teaser for whatever the next game was going to be, because Mario Tennis 64 obviously came out before this game. I've talked previously how there's planned multiplayer with either, I forget if it was two Luigi's or if it was just one Luigi um, and one Mario. But, let's see. There is also, like I mentioned in the 3DS port, or not in port, remake. Port implies that it's just like the game one for one just for a different console, whereas with um, remakes, it's actually making new models and adding new things to the game and stuff like that. And that's what the 3DS one is. And now, what was I gonna say? Uh, it would have been interesting because like, you know, in later Luigi's Mansion games, like in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, we got, you know, the scare scraper where you can play as one of four Luigi's, either I think the colors are green, blue, purple, and orange. But it's just interesting how with Luigi's Mansion, they've, they've always thought of it as a multiplayer game. And I think this, from what I've seen, this game does work well with multiplayer. Now, here's one interesting thing that I don't know what to think about. In the files of the game, there's a creature called L, E-L-H, and I'll go ahead and show up a picture on screen, but what? Like, if I saw this as, like, if I saw this when I first played this game when I was real young, then I probably would have, like, had tons of nightmares about that thing, because what even is it? Speaking of when I first got this game... I'll always remember when I first got it, because I remember that, uh, I forget exactly the order of what happens, but I remember after getting a, getting, like, getting through a dis visit at the dentist's office, I got it, and I remember just taking it home, and I didn't have a GameCube, but I had a, a Wii that could play GameCube games. So I would play this game like constantly, but I never got to the end because you need to get a certain amount of booze. And as I've mentioned before, the whole thing where they blow you away if you don't have enough booze just absolutely terrified me when I was little. Okay, I've searched through pretty much every room in this mansion at this point, and now I'm starting to get scared that I somehow despawned the boo. Because nothing's showing up on the boo radar. And so I'll just keep going for a little while and see if anything pops up. And maybe if I have to, I'll start, you know, checking furniture of rooms that don't have the radar pop up. Because now I'm getting super scared. Have I checked in here yet? Yeah, it's all gone. I've mentioned previously... 
about this hidden mansion. And basically the hidden mansion is... I found it. Holy crap, I found it. I, how did I not find it in here? Finally, booby hatch. Did it show previously of being in here? Because I could have sworn I've gone in that room before. And I don't think the radar went off, unless I'm just completely blind. But I think it's actually perfect that we found it down here, because King Boo's room is also just over here. It's that last door at the end of the hall. No, I'm going to have the Boo go over here, because it's much more accessible, and I don't have to go through the cellar the whole time. Oh no, please don't. Okay. Sometimes the booze will just, instead of waiting a second for you to get your bearings, it'll just zoom past. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Well, at least it's not in a room near the cellar. But yeah, sometimes it'll just zoom past, and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to manipulate its movements. But I think this might be it. Nope, it's going to go into that up, upper room. Or into the hallway. Either way, I'm not getting it this time around. I actually got it! Holy crap! This is the second and final golden diamond in the game. And EGAD doesn't say anything special about it. We slide off screen. And now I'm gonna go save. Because if I lose this thing, then I'm going to freak out. But now you've surely noticed that Luigi's Mansion is an extremely short game because Right here, this is part 11, and we're already done with the game. And with other stuff, like with... Okay, I'm gonna save. And then whenever I'm playing a game, I always make sure to save twice, just in case for some reason the first save wasn't enough. But anyways... Originally... No, that's not what I was saying. As I was saying, this game is very short because you can look at any Let's Play of this game and even people who are blind playing it for the first time are really short episodes. Like, typically, like, under 20 episodes is usually how it is. But yeah, this game is super short and while future games are a bit longer, they're still sort of short too. But I think that adds to the charm. I think if we, like had to go around like another floor and had to collect like 50 booze instead of 100. I think this would this game would quickly lose its charm and so it's a case of a game being good because it's short. Anyways, without further ado, let's go in. Ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. The way you plead for help, Mario, I find it so satisfying. Perhaps that is merely because I remember how much trouble you've caused me in the past. Seriously, though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? Talk about stupid. What do they feed you, Mario Brothers, anyway? Gullible soup? Your brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will truly be complete. Bleh! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, fool. I fear only that infernal Poltergeist 3000 you carry on your back. Stupid machine. But I am the king among boos. I swear it. I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you shwerp, shloop, whorp, shlorg, vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother. 
inside the painting. This is the final boss fight against King Boo and Bowser. So Madame Clairvoya was right when she said that Bowser was technically inside the mansion. So what you want to do is you want to take these bombs and when he bends his head down, go ahead and pop his head off. This will reveal King Boo. So it's actually just a Bowser costume and not actually King Boo. And the head will float off and start shooting ice at us instead of how Bowser typically shoots fire. I always think that the head is really creepy when it's off because it has no pupils. Now I'm going to wait for him to go ahead and move. Actually, he's going to go ahead and throw the bombs at us. King Boo pops back out. I think there's actually a way that you can hit Bowser's head if you pick up another bomb, but I'm scared that that'll, that I'll let King Boo go if I do that. But I let King Boo go anyway, so, eh. Puts his head back on. Oh, and another bomb. Oh. I was somehow able to do that, but I might not be able to fight King Boo for long. I think speedrunners can do this fight in like half a minute, which is insane to me. But we're getting pretty close, we're about halfway through the fight. So he puts back on the head, and there's going to be something that happens that I'm waiting for it to happen. But for now he just keeps throwing bombs. Come on. Ah, dang it. And now he accidentally puts back on the Bowser head backwards. So now he starts running at you and he has no idea where he's going. You just try not to get hit by him. He turns the Bowser head back around and starts shooting fire again. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the boss fight because it's just so like almost comical in a way. Now, some people say that um, you know, most people say that this is just like a Bowser costume made to scare Luigi, because, you know, that's the whole point of ghosts, is to scare people. Uh, but some say that it's actually Bowser and, like, hey, we beat him! And we get his crown, which is a red diamond, which, as we mentioned before, isn't worth anything. And that was Luigi's Mansion. Luigi. Luigi! Luigi, you did it! Truly remarkable, my boy. I supplied the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with, with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You made me so proud. Get a hold of yourself, Gad. What's that? You found King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you? Well, well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical tale. That career spanned 60 years, mind you. Why, well, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes re recollecting every now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning, spinning ghost yarns. Why, just last... Right, anywho, Luigi, grab your brother's painting and, grab and bring him to the lab. <laughs> the poor fellow's... The poor little fellow's fallen fallen asleep. He must have just colla collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to his former state, alrighty? I'll be expecting you both. Hmm. 
So yeah, now we're back in here, and I just want to say some people theorize that that actually is Bowser and not a costume, because, you know, Madame Clairvoya mentioned that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser, which some people theorize that Luigi's Mansion takes place at, like, the end of the Mario timeline, and, uh, you know, that actually is Bowser that King Boo's just possessing, or that King Boo is Bowser's ghost, but we know from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Mario Kart DS, where we see upgraded versions of the Poltergust, but we still see Bowser alive, that that's not true. This will mess with your head. All your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. The mansion those boos built dis disappeared into the night, but that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it all. Use it however you like. Say what? Enough rattling on about money? I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course your brother's really important, but first we have to take care of the these last ghosts. And so yeah, the Bowser head and King Boo actually do appear inside of the Poltergust. Or not the Poltergust, the uh, Portificationizer. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. I'd wager dollars to donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> Got a gold on Uncle Grimly. Silver on Jarvis. Silver on Vincent Van Gogh. Silver on Sue P. Gold on the Clockwork Soldiers. Silver on Sir Weston. And I think that's a bronze for them. I'll go ahead and put up on screen what ranking I got. That's a really cool painting, though. But yeah, we've caught all 23 ghosts. And so the total amount of money that we've gotten is... ...115,710,000 G. Fairly nice. such a cute ending but yeah that is luigi's mansion pretty short game but honestly one of my favorites and probably i'd say probably my favorite game on the gamecube it is just such a fun adventure start to finish and probably the closest that nintendo will ever get to making a mario horror game but yeah it's just such a fun adventure i hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as i did and, of course, at the ending of every single Let's Play, I've got to get really sappy. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has just been such an adventure making videos for you guys. And I'm probably not going to stop anytime soon. I've already planned out Let's Plays for at least the next year. So, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. 
took a little bit of a break between this video and the previous video, but that's just because, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate. I've got to do school stuff and, you know, I've got to do stuff for me, you know, got to have my own personal breaks and, you know, it's still fun doing stuff for this. And so I'm just not going to be going anywhere. That's adorable. We get to hear little voice clips of them reuniting. But yeah, this has been such a fun ride. I've been wanting to play this game for so long. And now I've finally done it. And I'm pretty proud of this Let's Play. I've got a lot of stuff. And now it's time for the thing that you wait for at the end of every Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. Depending on how much money you've gotten, you will get a different ranking. I believe the rankings are F through A, and I think you can get higher rankings in the 3DS remake. And so, let's see what I got in a little bit. But yeah, my next Let's Play is gonna be something that I've Let's Played on this channel before, but it's getting new updates to the game, so I thought I'd go ahead and play it. And so the matter of the ghost was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all those paintings returned that he used the treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. Please be a good ranking. I believe that is the best ranking you can get in the game. Congratulations, your mansion is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.